Welcome back, dinosaur fans. We're going to venture back into the world of Ark. Now, I've been away for a long time, so I'm not sure what I'm coming back to. I've been away at TwitchCon and BlizzCon. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, but I'm ready to get back into it. I'm ready to tame some dinosaurs and perhaps finally build a saddle for my flyer. Okay, let's head outside and check on my dudes. Luckily enough, it's daytime. Oh my god, hunger is bad. Hunger is bad. Hunger is okay. I need some berries and stats. Oh man, is it me or is the game much, much speedier? Okay, that's some berries. Gotta be quick. Don't want these guys to kind of perish. Now, I myself am quite hungry too. And apparently you guys, I keep reading the comments and you keep giving me some A1 advice. There's some pretty cool tips in there about taming dinosaurs that you don't have to knock out. Whoops. Wow, <laughs> okay. He's that quick. Now, Maleficent, this guy is still a herbivore, despite those sharp, pointy teeth and this wicked, wicked face. This guy is still a herbo. So we're going to give him some of these herbos. Bam, there you go, my friend. And we're going to have some ourselves. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, wait, there's a, a green loot box over there. Let's go grab it. Come on, Mulan, you and me. You know, be careful, this is unknown territory. There could be dangerous dinos on the horizon. Okay, let's grab this loot box quick. It's gotten dark so fast. I'm not quite sure why that's happened, but there we are. Okay, let's close the map and have a look. Oh, nice! So we've got some irrigation pipes. I guess that's uh, for farming. Wow, lots of irrigation pipes that could come in handy. And a small crop plot. Nice, nice. We'll get back on Mulan and zip on home. I think Duncan may have tinkered with the settings to make it more uh, more gamma during nighttime, which might be why I hope it's easier for you guys to see what's going on, at least. Okay, well, we're riding home for Christmas, and we're going to try it, see if we can get a saddle for our flyer. That has definitely got to be prime mission. Bam. All right, so to make a saddle for my flying dude. Okay, so let's see. Saddles. Oh, wow, I dinged. That was pretty simple. Aha! So you guys were right. If I put my points into fortitude, that will strengthen me against the cold and the heat, which is a good thing to go forwards with. And it looks like I've just a donkeysaurus. The hell's a dunkleos? Dunkleosteus? What? Now, what is the flyer that we have? What's he called? Let's double check his breed. Old Maleficent over here. A Pteranodon. Okay. Pretty simple. So I've got my I got my all all star A team squad here. I've got my pack horse for going gathering. What did I put down on the floor there. Nothing. I've got my speed demon, old Mulan. Gaston the strong, Mulan the quick, and Maleficent the flyer. So back to Ingrams. We're looking for a flyer saddle. That's the big one, isn't it? So luckily there's a search function. PT Pteranodont. So we've learned this. Equipable. So I need just chitin and keratin, or keratin, fiber, and hide. Pteranodon, okay. So this doesn't actually need a smithy to craft. It does need a fair amount of chitin and a fair amount of hide. So have I got like a storage chest? Let's see what I've got in here. We're going to transfer some stuff over. I've got my drums in here. Oh, and Duncan's human hair. Oh, delicious. We're going to transfer over some of this heavy stuff that we don't need to have. A compost bin. Wow, that was lucky to find. Let's plunk that down over here. I wonder if those guys have found any of my traps, by the way. Okay, so I've got some arrows. The mission now is to harvest some hide and some keratin. That means we're going to go out and we're going to kill some turtles, some of the big turtles, because they drop a lot of uh, keratin. Wow, it's daytime already. I think there must have been some tinkering to the server. I think Duncan's, Duncan's hacked the Gibson and, uh, and uh, changed some of the settings on this server. Now, I'm not privy to what he's changed. But I hope he hasn't been using the cheat commands. Bam! Down for the count. Right, let's get, get to harvesting. Now, I can't remember which tool it is that gathers hide. But it looks like the axe does a good job. And I can get my boots back at last. <laughs> son of a gun. You son of a gun. Just zipping around now looking for toidles. What's this down here? Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. What's that guy doing? What are you doing? Wait, is that a raptor? Stop that. Oh, I can kill him while he's killing that. Nice. A raptor. Wow. That would, I, I two-shot a raptor. They must suck. Where's my galley gone? I guess he's gone. Okay, let's kill this. Jethro, 44. 
Tribe of Dodo. Oh. You belong to somebody, don't you? Well, the raptor was going to kill you. Uh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to leave you here. Uh, but I do think you are going to die. Because uh, your, your owners are massive delinquents. Who's this? Tribe of the Dodo. Does someone live here now? Oh, I guess maybe some little scrum, scrum bag has um, built Tribe of the Dodo. Who the hell is that? Can we kill this thing? Let's see what level it is first and survey the threat. He's non-hostile by the looks. He's level 25. Male Stego. He is big. Imagine all the chitin on this guy. He's going to be kitted out. Kitted the chitin. I'm just going to take some... He's running away now, which means he's low on health. You, you freaking numpty. What are you going to do? Hey, Bam. Stego. Down. There goes for my stegos. Whoa, I've got some prime meat. But only three keratin. Let's go and cook the prime meat before it goes bad. And check on our campfire down by the, uh, down by the beach. Boink. <laughs> wow. You have a house there? Oh, I'm sorry. I just jumped over it like it didn't exist. Loads of meat, haven't I? I could tame some carnivores with this much meat. Actually, if I can get back to my preserving bin, I can put this meat in there and think about uh, using it again later. Put the prime meat in here as well. Quickly, quickly. And in goes the spark powder. Bam. And too late. All the prime meat <laughs> has spoiled. But that's fine. That's fine. This other meat has about an hour on it now. So if I log out, I should get some more time when I log back in for it to be okay. Okay, it's back on the hunt. Oh yeah, it's almost dropped. Let's go and see if we can get it. Oh, we are high enough level. Ooh, what's this? A bullet. An odd bullet and casing used with forged rifles. And what could this be? A mammoth saddle. Is that a blueprint or what? That's a blueprint. Not as useful. Okay, back on the hunt for old toiletses. Okay, where was that toidal? He was around here. What's this blue thing? Oh, wait. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What have I found? Terminal. Access the tribute terminal. Crafting requirements. So I need something from every single one of these? Wow. Okay, interesting. Something for future considerations. I'm going to aim for the shoulder section between the armor plates. So I think that's the better place to hit him. Or the neck. Because the head, sometimes you don't get all the damage off. Some servers have damaged numbers that appear when you hit a dinosaur. And that's very useful to have. Because you don't know how much damage you're doing a lot of the time. Wow, that thing glows bright, doesn't it? Four more arrows. Bam. Didn't even need that. He's lower level, though. Nine. Is that enough? I think it might be, you know. Oh, it is! Pteranodon Saddle! We're about to take to the skies, guys. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Pretty freaking exciting. Whoa, why is it so blue? What What has happened? Why is the world so blue? Maybe it's just that morning fog blue. This thing's so quick! Normal physics don't apply to the Gallimimus, who can traverse giant cliffs just by brute force jumping up them. I'm going to go off the beach here because there's a bit of a uh, bit of bit of rockery in the way. This is a much cleaner path and direct. Whoa, we have sufficient stamina. Oh, I've run him out. I've tied him out. Sorry, friend. Get it back up there. Okay, park your butt here, my friend. You, dinosaur, over here. To the skies! Okay, you guys ready? We're going to give him some more berries, which I think uh, Gallimimus has some. If not, we can just grab some from these bushes. He loves those berries. Now, is it, there's an ominous blue fog on the horizon. So let's just go touch base with Maleficent. See if we can take off. Bam. So, equip saddle. 
It's on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. are you ready? So, why is his hunger so low? Does he not like certain berries? Everybody likes measure berries, so we'll give him some of those. He's not a carnivore, so I don't think he wants meat. Am I light enough, is the question. I've leveled up his weight now. But I'm going to need to drop off most of my stuff if I want to take off, because I weigh a lot more than he can handle. So away with the thatch. These sickles, that rotten meat. All this junk. We're just going to take the weapon that we need. A torch, because that might come in handy. And how much do I weigh? Me. Wait. 41. Okay, that's pretty light. I have a feeling I can take off. But, let's give it a go. Ooh, now this is the moment of truth. I've never done this before. It's a weird blue night to start this. But we're going to go for it. Oh, oh, look at this. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, this is so good. This is so cool. Okay, let's go take a flyby of their base. Flap, flap, flap. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh here we go. Oh, this is so cool. I'm just going to do a flyby of these Scrub Lords base. So good. Wait. 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 Are you telling me? Are you telling me I'm not the first to fly? They've tamed scorpions. Oh, man. They've got it going on over here. One of them rides a scorpion. Oh, my God. One of them rides a saber tooth. Well, I'm the only one that rides the skies, bitches. So, see you later. Now, I've got to be careful, I think, when you run out of stamina. That's uh, a bad time. For your dinosaur. I think he needs to land to recover some of that. Let's see what happens. Let's just try and remain a bit closer to the land. Let's see what happens when he does run out of stamina. Here we go. Okay, he's run out of stamina. He's just going down and he's landing. And what the hell? What are you? He's got vicious claws. Wicked vicious claws. Is he going to attack? No, he seems quite docile. Hello? What up, Duda? You alright? No! Okay, we've got to lead him away. We've got to lead him away. Got to get him away from my dudes, away from my dinosaurs. Ow! No! No! My dinosaur! There's no getting out of this one. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why? Why is this game an exercise in pain and suffering and bullshit? Oh my god. Well, I'm going to grab my stuff. If I can. Survive it. Until next time, guys, take care.